As in many urban areas around the world, the Gauteng City Region, or GCR, is growing rapidly in terms of population, economy and area. The city region is becoming denser, with more and more people living in the same area. People living close together in urban areas has many advantages, but it can also cause environmental problems. Crowded living conditions create the need for recreational spaces where people can relax outside of their homes. These are often not protected from further development. A shortage of affordable housing has forced poor and homeless people to build informal dwellings on vacant land, often along the banks of rivers or on floodplains. Cities have covered the natural landscape with buildings, paving, tar roads and parking lots, all of which prevent rainwater from being absorbed into the ground. This creates a huge amount of stormwater runoff, increasing the chance of flooding. More cars and traffic, industrial activities, mining, electricity use, waste and sewerage all contribute to more polluted air, water and soils, intense floods, heat island effects and a shortage of land for farming. But there is a way to alleviate this decline in the GCR's urban environment, an approach that could solve these issues systematically and holistically, the green infrastructure approach. Green infrastructure is the interconnected set of natural and man-made ecological systems and green spaces designed to provide services, improve quality of life, reduce negative impacts of urban development and save cities money. The green infrastructure approach uses trees, wetlands, green open spaces and innovations such as green roofs and planted pavement gardens to rehabilitate the urban environment. These assets form an infrastructure network that provides services in the same way that traditional hard infrastructure does. But green infrastructure also supports and protects traditional infrastructure, making it more effective and last longer. Green infrastructure has many benefits. It alleviates floods, cools urban heat islands, captures carbon and reduces climate change effects. It controls urban microclimates, saves energy and purifies the air and it assists with the filtration, absorption and transpiration of water, helping to clean it. Green infrastructure also aids economic development by attracting business, providing jobs, increasing tourism and raising property values. Even food security is improved through local food production in allotments, gardens and urban agriculture. Space and habitat is made available for wildlife which allows people to enjoy unspoiled natural areas and provides environmental learning and training opportunities. Green infrastructure enhances community cohesion with good public spaces, creating leisure and recreation opportunities and helping people to improve health and well-being by lowering stress levels. And while some may see parks and trees as a luxury, there is no question that vulnerable communities in the city region have the most to benefit from decreased flooding risks, improved food security and a reduction of toxic water. By embracing the green infrastructure approach, the region can become a thriving, vibrant and economically dynamic urban centre that is also healthy, happy and environmentally sustainable, providing a high standard of living for all its residents. The future is green. Join us.